Hey, it's Ingress from the Hidden Levels here with a video preview of Monkey King Saga. The game is developed and published by T-Rex Games. It is a action, uh, amount of a strategy tower defense style game. If you are familiar with the Journey to the West, uh, this is what the game is based on. You see the familiar character of the Monkey King. The pig and the other guy, and of course the monk that travels with us. Let's see, monk named the Tripitika took a perilous journey across China to India. Guanin gave him a quest to obtain the sacred statue. This is just basically the story of the um, the journey to the west. You got three towers to begin with. You get more towers as you con as you play. So we are jump we are dive straight into the game. There we we did not like see the option screen or anything. No explanation. Just straight into the game here. Okay, so let's play the game a little and show you. It tells you how to play, like kill monsters to get orbs. Orbs are used to upgrade your towers or build your towers. Uh, move hero to defeat the monster. I, we can attack by using the hero himself. And if Tripitika uh, dies or all of his orbs are stolen, orbs or leaves, I don't know what they are, but there's like five of these things. If they're all stolen, then I think that's game over. Left analog to move uh, orb to summon an ally. Allies are what they what the game calls the towers. I'll be able to switch the spot. I'll show you how that goes. So we have three spots: one, two, three. So we're gonna put down um, let's put down one of this here, and we only have one five five more orbs left. So we'll start there. So we got one of these guys here, and both are uh, melee characters. And let's start the wave by pressing Y. We can speed it up twice, three times, or normal speed like this. I like to play it three times. I mean, the game is pretty slow paced, to be honest. So we can attack here, kill them. That's wave one done already, very quick. We just attack together like this. It's, it's very easy, we don't have to upgrade or anything like that. Well, that's it, done. Very, very simple. I got three stars. I got 800 coins there as well. We'll be using the coins, I'll show you how, how that works. <clears throat> so now we're on the map screen. There's 23 levels total, I think. Let's look at the menus. Let's look at the options first. That's I like to preview but game started without letting me do this we can just turn the music on or off sound effects on or off controller we the, the game's tutorial is very well done we don't nev we never need to really look at that no, shop it's a shop okay in the shop we can buy potions and stuff like that I actually never needed to use these um, Buddha palm these help, these are just potions, they help, but I never had to use it. Gallery has all the your ally towers or and your enemies. Heroes, heroes is we only have the monkey king right now, but the, the other guys will join in, join up, and a uh, tripitaka is also able to be upgraded in uh, when it unlocks. So, transformation. <clears throat> Let's buy this I'm go I, so I can show you the transformation. So, this is what we call the active skill, and we can use our money to train to become stronger. Like right now, I'll transfer for 15 seconds, but if I upgrade once to level 2, it'll be 20 seconds. But I don't have enough money right now, so I can't do that. Uh, there's other abilities that will unlock uh, when we reach map 6 and you can grind and like you can play the first level like 10 times to get enough money to unlock it right now but um, having played this game there was no need to grind that much I grinded a little bit to get stronger but it wasn't really needed so we got magic staff and then we got golden staff that's gonna unlock at level 9 
Hmm. Or we can buy for 30,000. I'm gonna upgrade this a couple times up here. Oh, and I'll also upgrade my armor a couple times. So we, we got 300 plus health. And my attack power is now plus 20. So we should be strong enough to tackle the next level very easily. So each level comes with a story mode, a challenge mode, and um, <clears throat> on hero mode. So story mode is your regular mode. You got all the towers, uh, ally tower spots. You can use all your heroes. Right now we only have one hero, but when we're playing other um, levels, it's possible. Challenge mode, you can still use all your heroes, but it's gonna remove the ally spots to just three uh, less. Uh, three for this level um, then this one you can only use one hero but your ally spots are available <laughs> very very difficult but you get 200% coins so I don't, you, you, know, you might want to try it um, but you do have to beat the story mode first to try that so um, let's see this level actually had three spots to begin with, so that's kind of funny. Um, hmm. This guy has uh, not ranged attack, as you can see. It's got a bow and arrow there, so I'll add him. I'll add this guy. Doesn't really matter. I found some other really good guys to use later on, so. I'm gonna show you each of the different moves and then uh, play a few more levels. So it had three ally spots before. We only have two, so there's the, there's less. Okay, so I'll add that man and that guy, and I'll speed it up to three. Uh, I did upgrade my power as well, so I I probably don't even need towers. I doubt I even need powers because I upgraded my attack. Yeah, as you saw, I didn't even even use the tower at all. I still get 800 coins. Um, so I'm gonna try the other mode, the one hero mode. But I don't think there is going to be any difference because I started with one hero. I don't. I'm not even gonna build a tower. I'm just gonna start right away. Just gonna go and kill that. I'm not even gonna bother with the, cause the enemy is not powered up. I have no problems to kill them easily without any towers. So as you can see, if you grind and get very strong, most of these levels are going to be a joke. I got, I just, you just let me get double instead of the 800. I got 1600. So I might as well upgrade my guys. My guy a little bit more. I mean, I have enough money. I'm gonna fully upgrade my attack. I, I truly believe in the power of attacking first in a defense game. So from here on, I'm going to be showing you some more levels of. Um, so you have better idea how the game plays. I'm probably primarily going to be using the scroll at the right now it says monsters are coming from the left. I'm not sure of any other position the monsters are coming from, so I'm not building any more towers for now. I'd rather well, I'll build one here. Just in case I get through. I doubt it, because I upgraded my guys fully. Uh, at the bottom left, you can see like I got potions. You got items that you can use. Potion will restore all your allies' health by a little bit. Okay, maybe I should build one here. So can help out a little bit. And I'll upgrade this guy. I'm just wait. I'm just overpower. Mm. Way overpower. Yeah, and for the sake of showing you, I'll transform into a gorilla. Gorilla, of course, 
that is super super powerful. If you've seen Dragon Ball, this is you know main character Goku. Yep, that's you know, based on this guy right here. I got a ally monster. Uh, I got a new skill, Cloud Boots. Let's check out that skill. So skills, I got this. Um, yeah, I can move faster, so let's buy the first level. You do have to buy the skill in order to be able to use it. Uh, even if you don't upgrade, you do have to buy it. So, let's continue. Uh, I'll show you up to maybe level 5. That seems about enough uh, variety, and I show you all most of the towers. Uh, I think this guy had a ranged attack. Um, I don't want them getting too close. So I, uh, I want to go at least up to the point where I unlock more heroes so I can show you modes where I'm playing with two or more heroes. Let's build one more tower here just in case they get through. Uh, the transformation powers uh, they do recharge so if you feel like using them right now it's no problem it'll it'll probably recharge back up by the time we are at like the last wave like I can use it right now I am on the last wave already okay And uh, when towers or okay, I should have used it on this guy. It's my bad. Uh, this is our first boss fight, basically. Pretty strong, but I'm stronger, so no problem. I have a seven hundred seventy-eight coins. I could have easily used that to upgrade my guys. I got my uh, new hero here. I'm gonna straight out upgrade his uh, hero abilities right now. Okay, let's get that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not even going to bother with the armor because he's traditionally stronger in armor. Uh, let's switch out some of the unused ones. I don't think I ever use these guys at all. I don't need any shielding. Uh, but yeah, I'll add that in. I'll probably be using the, the same two guys still. Yeah, here. Don't know where the other guys come from. So. Now that we have two characters, we can do it like this. I'll just leave him there. LTRT to switch back and forth between the characters. You can see that in the bottom. Yes, yeah, so I'll have him guard that area. He's really strong. He'll have no problems to fight by himself. He just need uh, just build that guy. Didn't mean to. It's no problem though. <clears throat> and Monkey King is very quick. So I just and I upgrade his, and he's riding on a cloud so he can move over uh, all the areas. He doesn't have to go through the road like uh, Pixie. Yeah, let's upgrade him once here. Also upgrade this guy. Uh, the the gorilla tower is quite weak. It's a beginning tower. Uh, we'll be switching them out, switching that out very soon. I don't have an active ability unlock for Pixie. He's also got uh, transformation and stuff like that. I'm saving my active power just in case a boss enemy comes. I'll be using that. Let's do this. Let's 
just in case let's have a full power uh, each guy can be leveled up twice to uh, level 3 max level uh, I think this will be the last level I show you uh, I am not going to show you the achievements screen but I'll tell you that all of the achievements are just for beating the level and getting the uh, weapons and armors that are the next level so yeah, so basically just play through upgrading your heroes and up to the end and you'll get all of the achievements very very simple and straightforward game um, yeah I, I thought it's an interesting uh, game oh uh, by the way I <laughs> just realized that I did not talk about when the game was released or how much it was. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, the game was originally released uh, in April in China, in Chinese region only. Uh, you might not know this, but uh, in China, the Xbox One is region locked, so you, Chinese games cannot be played on uh, other regions games. And that is the only region lock found uh, around the world for Xbox One. Uh, in China, this game was actually uh, free. Uh, it may have had uh, pay to win elements, like uh, maybe buying the coins, I don't know. But yeah, it was a free game. But when it released on June 15th of 2016, Oh, sorry, it was actually released on April 9th, 2015 in China. So more than a year ago. But now it came over to Western countries, uh, June 15th of 2016. It is now a $9.99 game, but uh, it has no pay to play uh, win elements at all. So not having played the Chinese version, I can't compare if there's a difference. Uh, the, uh, uh, of course, the obvious difference is that this version is in English and other languages while the Chinese version is obviously only in Chinese so that's an obvious difference I do not know if there are any gameplay differences or how the like number of coins that you win that uh, if there's any differences like that uh, anyway this is very easy gamer score game pretty fun Ten dollars. I don't know if the amount of content in the game is hmm, worth it. Worth ten dollars? I think so. Um, because you got three different modes for each level, twenty-three levels. Yeah, so if you play through all them all, trying to get three stars and everything, that's about seventy levels technically, and four heroes, a lot of stuff to upgrade. I think that's. Uh, quite a bit of content for the uh, money that you're paying it's, and it's uh, pretty decent fun as well so um, yeah I think it's a pretty nice game overall cool I'm not here to do reviews so this is just um, my like initial reaction to the game basically see you with that uh, thanks for watching. My name is Ingris from the Hidden Levels. Don't forget to check out other uh, our other channels like uh, Twitch and our website. Um, and also, please hit that subscribe button so you get updates when we have new content and we, we put up a lot of content so um, over the over the weeks, days. See, and I'll be back with more very soon.